It's early January 2012, 7 o'clock in the morning, at Leipzig Halle Airport. Today, several machines from Krones are due to be loaded onto an Antonov aircraft. Their destination is Osaka, Japan. Towards 7.30, the low loaders arrive carrying the Krones machines. Four of the airport staff handle the requisite coordination. There are also people present from the forwarding agent involved, Panel Pina, and from Crohn's, of course. Ten members of the Antonov's crew handle the technical side of the loading work. Two stretch blow moulding machines for producing PET bottles, plus the relevant accessories, are loaded into the aircraft. Using both the fold-up nose ramp and the ramp at the tail. Seventy-two tons of Krohn's technology in all are being put on board. When it comes to air freight, it's only an Antonov that can accommodate this size of cargo. It's a combination of height and width involved, you see. We'd never have got this inside a Boeing. Krohn's transports its machines in an Antonov about once a year on average. This type of aircraft is already one of the latest models around and features a higher payload capacity and an extended range. The maximum civilian payload is 120 tons. This time it was a bit less, 82 tons in all, including the loading ramp. After a good six hours hard work, the loading job is finally completed. Early in the afternoon, the Antonov takes off, weighing almost 400 tons. In about six hours' time, it will be making a technical stopover in Novosibirsk, before resuming its flight to Osaka in Japan. From there, the Krohn's machines will be transported by land and sea to the facility of the client, a major international soft drinks producer. <laughs>